isometric bicep curls. So because we're doing an isometric, you want to use a relatively light weight. Now you're going to make sure that your shoulders are pressed back against the bench so that your shoulders are not helping you lift that weight. And then in the isometric hand, you're going to maintain about halfway position, really keeping that tension on your biceps as you perform full bicep curls on the opposite arm. Now, what I do recommend to keep it more challenging is for the isometric hand or arm, keeping that weight a little bit lighter since it is more challenging. And then in the working arm that's doing the full bicep curls, you can use a slightly heavier weight.